Hi guys, welcome to our Mathematical Statistics 1 course. Uh, this is my third attempt to record this. Actually, this is my third time to t say everything. Um, okay, uh, so in this course, uh, uh, as I mentioned, you, you, will, uh, uh, you will understand the mathematical, uh, theoretical background of some uh, statistical applications. Um, you know, uh, life consists of many uh, uncertainties and to be able to deal with these uncertainties, many valuable tools of statistics uh, are used and mathematics is necessary uh, to understand uh, the mathematical, um, uh, mathematics is um, necessary to understand the main idea behind these tools so that we can use them correctly and develop uh, new statistical techniques. And statistics about, uh, is about the mathematical modeling of observable phenomena uh, using stochastic models and about analyzing data, estimating parameters of the model and testing hypotheses. And uh, mathematical statistic is one branch of statistic um, from a, uh, it, it looks the statistics in a mathematical standpoint using probability theory and also other branches of mathematics. So we will use lots of derivatives and integrals in uh, this course. Um, so mathematical statistic, uh, by mathematical statistic, we understand the theory behind the methods used in the application and we become ready to develop new theories uh, that can solve new uh, real life problems. Um, so, uh, okay, uh, uh, many students actually uh, before told me that uh, why we need to take this course, um, the students who want to be an academician needs to take this course, we don't want to take this type of uh, uh, comments I received previously. Uh, but actually, uh, this is the, I think, main difference between you and also the uh, other statistics users. Uh, so you know, uh, there are t tutorials and uh, um, um, videos and everything actually in YouTube and in the websites. Uh, so the, the codes are available and everything is nice so everybody can reach and then use those. As a statistician, um, you are different than those because you will know, you will learn now mathematical statistics and uh, some uh, uh, basics of uh, statistical inference with this course. Uh, by this way, ba basically, you can develop new theories based on some new real life problems. You know, uh, each year we are seeing different things and technology increases, but the problems are also new. Uh, so uh, these new problems has to be solved with new techniques most of the time. So as a statistician, you have to develop these methodologies, these theories and modeling tools. So if you develop a new model to solve these problems, then uh, there can be a model and there, there can be uh, model parameters uh, uh, to be able to estimate. Yeah, so you have to know how to estimate these parameters and also do the hypothesis testing based on those. Uh, so you you can do those kind of things uh, with mathematical statistics. So this is the main difference between you and other statistics users. So you can be a developer of new theories and methodologies. Uh, so uh, you know statistics can be used in uh, in many different areas like medicine, actuarial sciences, economics, engineering, environmental sciences, and many many uh, examples can be given. Uh, so basically, uh, what we are doing uh, most of the time, we have um, the population information, uh, but you know, uh, it uh, gives us the entire set of objects uh, we want to study. Uh, but uh, it's uh, usually time consuming, and also sometimes uh, we cannot uh, observe all population uh, observations, like because we have infinitely many, we, we may have infinitely many observations, then we get a small par portion of that uh, subset of population. So here we are using probabilities, 
the, the uh, probabilistic rules to be able to obtain sample information. But after getting sample, what is the main idea of us? Basically, we, get, we want to get something about the population. We want to know something uh, about the population. So by using statistical inference or mathematical statistics, uh, so we can uh, get some information about the um, uh, unknown parameters or whatever our uh, main uh, problem is. Uh, okay, so it was correct actually. <laughs> I erased it. Uh, so statistical inference. Okay. Um, so uh, in statistics, we are dealing with uncertainties. To we want to measure those uncertainties and then so solve them. Uh, and the measure of occurrence or measure of uncertainty is probability enough. Uh, so we will use probability a lot in statistic uh, to be able to measure these uncertainties. Okay, so it is a measure of the occurrence uh, of the random phenomena. Uh, pheno phenomena. <laughs> okay. Um, so we are using probability functions to be able to uh, get the, those functions, uh, the, those probability values. And you know, uh, probability functions should satisfy some rules uh, to be a probability function. Uh, the probability function should be between 0 and 1. This is the one rule, you know. Um, probability of all sample space should be 1. And when we consider, actually, so let's say we have a sample space, okay, this is our sample space, and we have lots of observations. There could be infinitely many, like in continuous case, or there are some discrete case of options, W1, W2 type of things. Uh, so here in the probability uh, of an event case, so we assume that, actually we have to say here, not A, but WI, let's say, I from 1 till infinity, let's say. Uh, so here we assume that these two events are disjoint. What we mean by that, for each W value, WI and WJ uh, intersection should be empty set. Okay, so under this condition, for each i and j not equal to each other, uh, so we assume that here, when we consider the whole um, event probability, union of all these wi's, i from 1 to infinity, so we will end up with the summation of all these probabilities. Okay, I from 1 to infinity. So this is uh, two rules, actually. So one of them is this one, and the one of them is this one. So basically, the one coming from probability of S, the so whole sample space, should be at most 1. Uh, then a random variable concept is very important for us. So that, uh, what the random variable, uh, how random variable helps us is actually related to the form of the uh, variables. You know, in, ta in uh, statistics, we have different forms of uh, observations like numerical observations or categorical observations. So in, based on our uh, experiment, we can have different uh, uh, setup actually. So. Uh, but in statistics, we, are, we have to quantify everything to be able to measure things, like the mean, how they are lo located, or we need to find the variations, skewness, kurtosis, we want to do the test, hy uh, hypothesis testing or confidence interval estimation. So we need numerical quantities. Uh, so random variables helps us to get these numerical quantities. Actually, random variable is not a random, it, it is not a variable actually. It is a function. It is a function from sample space to a real line. So uh, let me write random variables. We are using RV notation to represent a random variable. It should be defined on uh, the sample space. Defined on sample space and then consider sample space again we have infinitely many observations or some uh, number of observations it could be gender type uh, female male type of thing or education level or height weight age whatever you want okay so let's say one of them is just w so we want to quantify that then 
if it is numerical quantity, basically it's the number, so we can get the quantity. But if it is a, uh, you know, categorical variable, binary variable, then we need some uh, something that from this uh, categorical space to a real line space, then we can uh, do mathematical calculations with that. So consider this real line. Okay, so we need some function from sample space to this uh, real line. Okay, so this function. This variable is actually, this function is actually our random variable x. Okay, so um, x is a function uh, which assigns numerical values to each possible item in the uh, sample space. Okay, so now this will be x, w, and others, so on. So random variable uh, is a function. Okay, so it's not a variable. So if I ask you to, what is a random variable? You, you sometimes you start with it's the variable. Oh, it is not a variable. It's a function. It is a function that assigns numerical values to all possible outcomes of a random experiment under fixed conditions we usually assume that uh, each random experiment so you have we have to con conduct experiments many times to be able to observe uh, different uh, sample sizes uh, then uh, we assume that uh, each random experiment done under fixed conditions so there is no change in the environment or any set uh, on the setup Okay, so this is the random variable. So it assigns numerical values. So basically, uh, remember the uh, one question in the Kahoot quiz. Uh, it was about uh, waiting bus at the bus stop type of thing. Uh, so here, there is no numerical measurement. So you are just waiting. So this is just an event. Okay, it's, it's not a random variable. But you, if you quantify the waiting amount that you uh, at the bus stop, then it will be a numerical quantity. And it will be a random variable. So we can measure it. Okay, waiting time at the bus stop, waiting bus, uh, waiting time uh, for the bus. So this will be a random variable. But just saying that waiting bus at the bus stop will not be a, uh, is not a random variable. It is just an event. Okay, um, so no numerical measurements. So basically, we are using capital letters to represent random variables. For example, mostly we are using X or capital Y or. ST, whatever. So the capital letters represent random variables. So the lowercase letters, lowercase x, for example, observable values, observed values. So you know one of the measures that we uh, use a lot is the expectation. So when we consider expected x, so this should be a function of a parameter or parameters, whatever the type of the uh, uh, form. So we can find the expected x. But when we consider expectation of lower x, so it's just x because it's number, like 5, 4, 0 0.5, whatever. Okay? So this is the number. Okay? We don't have, we cannot take the expectation of a number. Right? So you have to think about like that. We will use x, but you have to know that lowercase x represents some number. Okay? So in the exam, in the homeworks, uh, when you have to use a random variable, please use a capital letter. Otherwise, uh, you will re receive minus one from each uh, wrong uh, usage of these capital letters and observed values. So it's important actually for me because it shows me you know the difference between the random variable and observed values. Uh, it represents two different things. Okay, so to define um, prob random variables and how frequently we observe those values, we are using probability functions. For discrete case, when we have a discrete uh, random variable, so it can take values like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever, we are using uh, probability mass function. So f of, I use, sometimes use f of x, sometimes use, uh, sometimes use, uh, oops, uh, p of x. So basically it is it's just a representation, okay, so probability mass function for uh, discrete case. Uh, so probability mass function f of x has two rules actually. Uh, so we have to say that 
uh, f of x actually represents the probability. So when we say f of x, it actually it is probability that x equals to lowercase x. So, so it should be bounded by 0 and 1, like the regular probability function. And when we sum uh, all the probability function, uh, probability values, we will end up with 1 in all uh, event space. Okay, so these are the two rules that we have. It is bounded by 0 and 1 because it's probability. And when we sum them up, we should end up with 1. Uh, for this 